Welcome back, everybody. I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. So, we are going to try O'Fallon's Salted Caramel Pumpkin Beer. Uh, cool can art on this one. If you haven't seen it, uh, this is pumpkin season, so it we try and pick up as many as we can. Um, 4.5% ABV, malt beverage with natural flavors and artificial flavors. $2.89. Is what this cost? I'm not gonna try and take that sticker off. You did have it. Yeah. It smells weird down here. <laughs> so Jessica now wants to drink all the Oktoberfest beers. Too. I want some with pump with uh, pretzels. It's just that time. I mean, October is almost over, but. I can't remember, but I almost want to say most of the O'Fallon um, pumpkin beers. I'll give myself the rest. Um, we've liked. I don't I remember, can't remember what the vanilla one tasted yeah, like. Yeah, there's you said a you vanilla, had it. like a I coffee. It. I think we did it together. The chocolate cherry. Rob, rest his soul, was the one that told us about O'Fallon to begin yeah, with. Yeah, the cherry one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, head, I, kind of brownish, a little bit of orange. Um, color is orange. I would say straw would be the color of the head. That's what I would say almost. I'd straw say yellow. Darker. Okay. Um, yeah, orange. Uh, there was some settlement in the bottom. Uh, yams. That's what they're going to use in this. They don't use pumpkin to make pumpkin beers. Pumpkin? Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Pumpkin beers. Uh, yeah, color looks good. I don't know. Well, that makes it look way darker than it is. Yeah, well, because it's focused on yeah. your eye. So if I put it over here. Yeah, good <laughs> luck. It likes Jessica today. Sorry. But um, it's orange. Yeah, I'm what just pumpkin, kind of... pumpkin ale should be. Natural and artificial flavors. Oh, whoa. Like, use salt. Throw caramels in there. But, yeah, let's go ahead and smell. I can smell the caramel in it. Yeah. So, I want to Sweetness. almost say, yeah, like a buttery sweet. Yeah, caramel. I would say but, caramel. I know. I would say it was caramel. It smells like those little craft caramel squares I can't find anywhere. It, I don't know if it's from the salt, but it almost smells like it's like fermented. Like almost an apple. I don't know if I'm just picking that up from the caramel and my brain's thinking I would not say apple like a all. caramel apple. I like I like actually the uh, mixture of the <laughs> salty and sweet. Yeah. I do. I get that salt. But I think that caramel sweetness sticks out the most. Not, I wouldn't say like a dessert style, like it's way overdone. No, not at all. But it's there, no pumpkin. Are we ready? Yep, I'm let's ready. Start. I kind of like this. It's, it's a subtle. Yeah. It's a subtle, say it's salty, sweet. It's light. It is a weird caram like a weird aftertaste, salty sweet. This is a really good fall beer. It's this light airy. Mm -hmm. Like these glasses are etched, but I don't think there's any carbonation in this thing. Not a lot. I I don't have any like bleh. It's mainly light caramel, maybe a little bit of maltiness. Um I like this Salt. for a flavored beer. It's subtle enough that it's, it, I think it's enjoyable. I I couldn't tell there's pumpkin in here. It, you're not going to taste the pumpkin. It's the texture. No. Pumpkin but, pie doesn't taste like pumpkin pie without the spices. Right. Pumpkin roll doesn't taste like pumpkin roll but without the spices. if you're drinking a pumpkin beer. It's it not. Be it's a, a salted caramel. Pumpkin beer. The base should be pumpkin. It is. Not it's not you're not you gonna taste. taste pumpkin. Go upstairs yeah, and open the can of pumpkin. Pumpkin pie eat. filling. I want the nutmeg. I want the cinnamon. Yeah, that's not that's not what this is. This is not salted caramel pumpkin pie. It, no, yeah. Brad. No, it is right. salted caramel pumpkin beer. Go upstairs and and, and open a can of 100 percent pure pumpkin, and you're gonna be like, doesn't really taste like anything. Correct. To make pumpkin pie. You add flavorings. Correct. So this those is those flavoring flavorings are not in this beer. Those two are not. 
No, the pumpkin yeah, pie. Yeah, we don't want pumpkin spice and all that in this. This is good. <laughs> it's a pumpkin beer, though. What are you going with? Um, I would say four and a half out of five. I like it. I I could say that I, I think I could drink a whole can of it. It's just it's just the right balance for me. Okay. Yeah, and it's that's not a good overly fall sweet. beer. Mm-hmm. Um I think that's a little too high. I would go four out of five. I like it. Uh one of my friends checked it in. Um and they gave it a, little, a four out of five. Yep, four out of five. Uh, a little over 7,000 people checked it in. 3.53. Um, roasty. I did not get a roasty. Pur- puree. Yeah, which is not flavorful. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, caramel, sweet, salty, pumpkin-y, roasty. Definitely don't get that. It's not roasty. I'm glad it's not because I really like... It, the um I think it needs some carbonation. It's kind of like I guess if you melted a caramel in in like uh and sprinkled some sea salt on it. Gallon of water or half gallon like it's there but it's like you're eating a caramel but it's too light. Mm. Yeah. I don't agree with you on what you think the flavor profile of this beer is. I think it's fine. Yeah. And okay. I like it. And we're moving on. Yep. So, yeah, if you're into beers like this, definitely one to pick up and try. If you like this video, check out some more over here. And until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Cheers.